Hey everyone, Icarus here with an Overwatch post gameplay commentary. Today I'm going to be playing Junkrat and Numbani Defense. So, Junkrat's probably one of my favorite heroes for defense. He's just such a perfect blend of an offense hero who can hook, pack a huge punch with like the kid of a defense hero, basically. A lot of the other defense heroes you'll find have much more just very highly defense oriented kits. But Junkrat is completely different. He can... He basically has an offensive weapon and a sort of of offensive tool and then like a defensive tool. The sort of offensive tool being the mine, which you can throw out just to do damage, and the defensive tool being the bear trap, which you kind of have to pre-play. So he is a bit on the defense side. side. The thing is though, he plays a lot like an offense hero, and so he's basically a perfect hero for defense if you enjoy playing heroes like Pharah, Soldier 76, Tracer, who are all good on offense in their own way, but Junkrat kinda has a kit that's a bit of bit more of a hybrid of all of those ones, which you can also spam out the grenades, and those basically act as another way to block off an area and defend a point, because it makes it very hard for an enemy to push through. Oh, let's get into the actual gameplay here. I got hit by that Widowmaker, so I'm just gonna be backing off and Heading over to health kit, we're defending quite far up, which is not something that I really want to be doing. I really don't like defending far up, especially on Numbani. I feel like defending forward on Numbani is one of the worst maps to do it on because it's such tight quarters and such awkward angles that enemies can slip by easily. I've actually just lost the first point on Numbani sometimes because an enemy managed to go through one of the choke points while our entire team was defending forwards, I was the only one who noticed, and I basically went back to the point that killed me because I was playing a support, and we ended up losing the point before our team could get there, so I tend to prefer actually defending on the point, just because it's much easier to tell where enemies are coming from, and you can generally just rely on a more grouped up team when you're defending on the point, and this is the same for most maps, not just Numbani. I'm gonna go down there to that Zarya, uh... Pretty just much just an HP war that she ended up winning. Uh, I hit the good shots, but her shield was a bit too much for me. And I was pretty out of position as well. I wasn't really paying attention to my surroundings too much. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. Just try and defend on the first point. Most of the forward defenses that you can run are just way too close quarters with, an en with the enemy team. Here I'm going to throw out that ult because I have a feeling I'm going to be pushing in. I'm going to have it climb this wall, try and get a sneaky shot, and I'm going to go for that Pharaoh. Since she already did some damage to it, I know that the tire's not going to be staying around for much longer. So I know i got to just throw it out and blow it up on someone. So I, that's why I do that. Here I'm just going to back off. Even though I could probably kill that Zenyatta, it's not really worth the risk of just running into that close quarters when I have a Discord orb on me. Way too easy to die in a situation like that. Just gonna wait until he comes out. And this is the other benefit of playing on the point. They're gonna have to push it eventually. You're basically forcing them to come to you. I got extremely lucky there until that. But that McCree was definitely gonna kill me if um, he hadn't been killed off before then. And luckily there's a Mercy revive as well. So yeah, you force people to come to you instead of going to where the people are coming from. When you're in front of the enemy spawn, the enemies only have to move a tiny distance to actually get to you. But when And then they can move back into the base and they'll be invulnerable and healed to full health instantly. But when you are at the point, they have to move really far forwards to come to you into terrain that you're designed to be defending. And it just is a lot harder for them to push into. That's just some thoughts on defending on the first point. Now let's, let's, let's talk a bit more about Junkrat. So basically if you see here... I'm just shooting, not really trying to aim too much. I basically just want to get off as many shots as possible. If someone gets close, then I'm going to start aiming. I'm going to try and go for, go for those body shots. I'm also putting the trap on stairs, and there's a good reason for this. So the bear trap can actually bug on stairs and just glitch into them and become invisible, pretty much. But people will still be able to see it. I'm going to use the ult here. Whenever you use ult as Junkrat, make sure to get behind someone. I'm going to chase down the, the Senyata, and I'm forcing him to make a decision. Pop Transcendence or die. And he decides to pop Transcendence here. So even though that was a wasted ult, I basically traded it for one of the most powerful pushing ults in the game. And that probably brought us a huge amount of time. 
So there, what you just saw is an example of using the mine aggressively, and right there again as well. Sometimes in combat, in fact, I recommend you do this a lot, and I've gotten into a bad habit of just using the mine purely for traps and not just throwing it out. You should uh, just throw the mine out and blow it up when you feel like you can get a killing blow, or you feel like that, you, that the burst damage is going to let you get the kill. Just try and throw that out as much as possible uh, when <laughs> those situations happen. So here I'm spamming my mines down into that area since I see some shots coming from it. And since that's a very close quarters area, it's going to be very hard to avoid that mine. And then, again, people pushing in, so I'm just spamming up the mines. I'm getting kills even though I'm not really aiming for people, and that's, that's one of the beauties of Junkrat. If you want to defend uh, and you want to get kills and stuff, but you can't really aim, play Junkrat or Torbjorn. Bastion you kind of need to aim, but with Junkrat you can just sort of spam out the grenades. Obviously when they get in close quarters you'd like to be able to go for the direct hits and know how to aim those, which is a lot of prediction and arcing of your shots. Yeah, we're about to win, so I'm going to set up the mine. I'm trying to get those last few people that are going to be pushing in. Do manage to pick off the Lucio, but the uh, Roadhog manages to kill me before I can, but we're still going to win. Super easy defense, we just set up basically an impenetrable de defense because we force them to come to us, it's really important. We forced them to come into our zone where we were prepared to defend. And because of it, they just couldn't be as effective as they would have liked. And they just ended up falling into all of our setup defenses. We had people covering every angle. We had this junk, uh, this bastion behind in that little room to the left there. We had me on the point. And the enemies just couldn't find a way to get in and kill us off. And so, yeah. Not so much Junkrat advice. A pretty quick video, too. Aside from the throwing out the mine to just get a quick kill or to burst down someone since it does a ton of damage and you don't really need to aim it. And uh, putting the trap on stairs. But other than that, uh, some good map advice. Always try and defend on the point. I really don't think forward defending is correct at all. It's always so easy for enemies to just flank around and get behind you. I've won maps so many times because I've just ran past the enemy's defense. And I've gotten onto the point and pretty much fully taken it or taken it even in some cases before the enemy could actually get back and stop me. So yeah, play on the uh, play on the point as much as possible when you're defending. Uh, if you have any comments, criticism, leave them down below. If you want to see the next video, subscribe to the channel, should be out tomorrow. Uh, if you liked this, leave a like. I've been Icarus, and I'll see you in the next one.